What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jaden Roger back with the video. And so by today's title today, I'll be giving you guys streetwear brands or just regular clothing brands that you should definitely know about for 2022. To start off 2022, right? I wanted to give you guys these brands because these are brands that I actually really, really enjoy and I really, really like, and I can't wait to continue seeing them grow within 2022. But if you are new to my channel, I do make casual streetwear and style related content, so stick around and hit the subscribe button and follow me on all my social media platforms at X Monroe. And along with that being in the description box, I do provide clothing links to certain stores that you can buy the products from. But if you are a returning subscriber, make sure to keep liking and keep commenting so I know that you're enjoying my content. And just thank you so much for your support. So let's go. Starting off hot, I really want to give credit to a brand that I've been into really um, recently and I actually really, really like their pieces and I would literally buy every piece if I had the chance to. And it is this brand under the label as Veil vale Lives. What I knew them for are their signature wax leather stack pants. I really, really like those and I find them very unique to the brand themselves because I think at least about 2020 early 2021 leather was very very in especially stacked pants so for them to actually combine the stacked pants within the leather pants i think that was a really dope combination and you can definitely see a lot of other brands are trying to follow suit or trying to mimic their quality of their pants so i did a little research on their brand on their website and they really started this brand to kind of give an escape from reality through their clothing if i'm not mistaken most of their pieces are cut and sewn and they do follow a traditional cropped and stacked um vibe for their main clothing when they drop pieces i think their message and the style that they do their clothing in can really relate to a lot of people that are in the fashion world or just starting out to get fashion or are higher up in the fashion arc only because this brand they're not a basic brand they know exactly what they're doing they know who their target audience is they know how to get their products out and design cool pieces that people would actually buy vanny the pink is another brand that i did pick up from other influencers and content curators through our instagram and i truly think that this brand is primarily asian themed or asian based only because of their certain textiles, their colors, and just the kind of message that they do give off within their entire brand. I wanted to do a little research on a couple of brands that I did add into this video. So I did go on their about page on their website and the brand owner is a New York and Virginia native. And I just assumed that he really loves streetwear and likes making clothes. So this is why he kind of curated this brand. Now, very similar to a whole bunch of other brands in 2021, a lot more brand owners or just brands as a whole are making their own pieces and not really depending on other people like graphic designer or manufacturers or just other people to do their job for them or their work for them. A lot of people like to do their own stuff. And on their website, it did state that this brand does a lot of their own customizations, whether it be the shoe, the shirt, the pants, the hat, or any type of miscellaneous item going on throughout the brand. Now let's get to talking about one of their biggest items that kind of probably put them on the map and it is their Vandy Burger shoe. It's a shoe that resembles a literal burger. Like, just imagine it's like a dunk, like a Nike dunk, and it's just like a knockoff dunk, but it's totally different from that. I'm gonna explain it. The check sign that would be on the Nike is actually a fry. They do have the little sesame seeds from the burger bun throughout the entire shoe. I think a part of the shoe is kind of like a green to hint at the lettuce, and then a part of the shoe is red to hint at the tomatoes, and then the rest of it is obviously brown, just to, you know, resemble the actual bun of the burger then some parts of it is brown to resemble the meat of the actual burger and then the rest of it is that kind of tan kind of color to represent the bun the third brand that i definitely want to mention within this video i think that the brand is under the actual owner's name it is kind of rich x uzi i don't know if that's the brand name but when i search up the instagram that's what comes up and when i go to the actual website that's what comes up so that's what you're going to go by i'm going to obviously leave pictures and b-roll clips just so you guys actually know what brand i'm talking about and actually see his pieces just in case you don't know the actual name but you know the piece to name you know so this brand is kind of a brand that i definitely stumbled on by accident i seen other content creators wear this cardigan but i didn't know who it was but when i stumbled upon the actual instagram itself and i saw the cardigan on the page i was like oh i found it so I, I i like to say i stumbled on it by accident now this was one of the brands that he doesn't really have too much about himself on the actual website and it kind of looks very low-key and he likes to keep a low-key vibe but a lot of his pieces are very very good and i really want to get my hands on a couple of them but um, I feel like brands like this, because he's so low-key, it's kind of hard to know when he's going to drop a certain piece. And obviously, I can keep up to date with him on his social media. But a lot of the times, that doesn't, you know, also reflect on how he'll drop the pieces or if I know when he'll drop the pieces because I have a life as well. So I'm not just going to be stalking his Instagram page for when he's going to drop pieces. But yeah, I do follow him on Instagram and I do look through a lot of his stories and a lot of his highlights. He is very for his people. He's very for his supporters. Whenever somebody takes a picture and a piece of his products or just talks about his product, he always reposts his story as long as they tag him. He always reposts it and he always shows love. And I think 
that's what brand owners or just designers they need to start doing because these people are actually supporting you and they're buying from you and then for you not to even acknowledge that it's kind of just like bleh okay so the fourth brand that i do want to talk about is haven court it is curated and designed by a fellow youtuber known as keezy tv if you guys know him then obviously you know him if you know you know you know keezy tv i've been watching him for such a long time he's been such an inspiration and he actually talks a lot about how he designs certain pieces on his channel and then of course he has like an exclusive type of other social media where you can obviously go and he'll actually break down manufacturers and stuff like that i feel like his brand is really based around a lot of his regular type of wear he kind of wears like oversized dicky products or just oversized raw japanese denim jeans that you see throughout his channel and i really think that he carried his brand specifically for stuff that he can wear but that's appealing to everyone else because a lot of people still are in that type of style or in that type of genre of clothing so it's so appealing to a lot of people especially when you have prints of your logo along the entire butt that kind of mimics evisu or bape or flying dog type of jeans a lot of people are going to gravitate towards that a lot and i really think that was really a nice product for him to drop because it is raw japanese denim so you're gonna get the longevity of the jean but then the overall design on it is super dope as well he also drops a lot of fitted caps that kind of have this star around it that kind of resembles his brand as well but if i have the opportunity i definitely want to get my hand on a couple of pieces from this guy because his brand is just so dope and i really really like what he's doing now the fifth brand that i do want to talk about it is either goes by the label as real or regal i don't understand it too much but i know it it is spelled re and then it has a nine and it has an al so i don't know if the nine is supposed to mimic a g or the nine is just supposed to mimic like an abbreviation code or like an area code within the area but they are a new jersey based brand so that could also be it because a lot of area codes do start with nine but i don't know but yeah um, they are a New Jersey based brand, which is why I have it on this list because I am from the New Jersey, New York area. So I do see this a lot throughout my entire Instagram page and my um, explore page and just a lot of other people that I follow. I think that this brand produces a lot of high quality streetwear work pieces that are definitely for the youth. A lot of their pieces remain very true to very colorful pieces, very abstract very cool design pieces that are very appealing to the eye and their brand's aesthetic is very unique and i actually have not seen anything like it in 2021 so i think that's also why i wanted to put it on this list and gravitate it way more because i've never seen an aesthetic like this yet or a mastered kind of so it's really really dope for them to see people that are from new jersey new jersey natives really doing stuff like this now their main piece that i have seen a lot of the time are their kind of oversized relaxed fit jeans and it does have their logo r with a star at i think the end of the r and then the top of the r that is directly split down the middle of the actual jean so obviously when you put your legs together you'll see the complete logo but when you're sitting you know legs open or legs you know to the side or stuff like that obviously the r is going to be split and i really think that was a really dope thing to do because like i said i've never really seen a brand do that yet so the next two brands on this list i'm going to talk about them as a whole and then i'm going to split them and talk about them individually they are a mo kids and sleazy studios to me these two brands are very similar and they're definitely revolved around that trendy streetwear type of vibe or aesthetic or style that you've seen throughout the entire summer of 2021 i think that these two brands were definitely the pinnacle and the start of producing a lot of nascar graphic tees that resemble a lot of where they're from being Atlanta or just from any other state that they've traveled to or any other collaboration that they've done for people with other states. And although that I am categorizing them together because I do think that they're similar brands and I do follow both of them on social media and there a lot of people in their groups are, are along the brand of social media and they do hang out very frequently and they are kind of like a brotherhood. So they are based in Atlanta and although I am comparing them, they do definitely have very distinctive things that separate them from brands um that i do want to talk about as well you can probably just hint at it Amo kids once you hear the kids it kind of gives me like a group type of club type of vibe which is why i think a lot of people gravitate to it because they give off this membership type of vibe within the actual brand whereas this like if you drop a t-shirt you get one now you're a part of Amo kids while sleazy studios to me is just like a solo project and he does a lot of designs based around his lifestyle and based around a lot of personal experiences that are very appealing to people because people want his lifestyle and that's 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 just the bottom line people want his lifestyle so he exploits throughout his clothing so the eighth brand on his list does go by the name of circle author so this is definitely fairly new to me in 2021 i probably found it within fall and i wanted to make a video about fall brands but i figured 
you know, I was doing a lot within school, so I wanted to just hold off, and this is why I'm making this video now, because 2022, I think that all these brands will flourish, and you'll obviously hear more about them, so I kind of want to do a kind of foreshadow, a kind of back and forth to how I'll predict later or what we'll hear later about these brands from now. So their message is art is everywhere that is kind of headed within their about section on their website and i think that this brand is doing so well or is going to do so well because art is everywhere the message kind of resonates with a lot of people because a lot of people are definitely being more introduced to art and becoming more aware of what art can mean and how art affects people within their daily life now because of their message i think that they give off a very minimal type of style which you know can be worn by anyone you know what i mean because it's just the simple cut and sewn pieces or the simple graphics that are very simple and not doing too much but they kind of make a statement or kind of make an impact on how you'll wear it or how you'll style it and it's very appealing to the eye because like i said it is a lifestyle type of minimal brand so once you curate that lifestyle aspect in your brand it makes a lot more people want to just be a part of it and just purchase your items even more okay so the ninth brand that i do want to talk about is menace los angeles now they are a pretty known brand i definitely started to notice them more and learn more about them when i saw other tiktokers post them daily and just accumulate items from them which made me kind of curious now to me if i was to compare this brand to another brand within this list i would definitely compare them to veil lives and i think that this brand really separates themselves from other brands because the designs are so unique and you actually have never seen anything like that especially coming from a small brand that isn't you know mainstream or being sold worldwide and like multiple different stores you know what i mean like that that's what i mean like when i say small brand what i like about this brand also they kind of take um different aspects from different brands similar to supreme a lot of their rollouts and a lot of their lookbooks are set up exactly like supreme's websites and how they drop certain pieces meaning like different shirts their statement pieces their center pieces and then they have the miscellaneous items like a book or a knife or a cup that kind of complements the brand making it more of a lifestyle style type of brand rather than just the clothing items themselves and i think that's what a lot of brands are doing nowadays they're adding the lifestyle aspect to their brand because like i've said in a couple other brands that i did talk about lifestyle is what people are like asking for but not necessarily knowing that they want it if that makes sense if you add lifestyle and clothing then you actually have the perfect brand in my opinion in my opinion especially for 2022 you actually have the perfect brand and the 10th brand is uh stacks world i think that this brand is very similar to mo kids and sleepy studios as well but i wanted to separate it from them because i think that those two are more similar than adding this third one now this brand is curated by my boy i know him personally we know each other through social media and he did follow suit with the curating of the graphic tees and just the nascar tees throughout the entire summer was why i think that his brand was such a hit and it kind of blew up when it did or it's kind of growing at the pace that it is growing when he was dropping those products and i did purchase a piece that i did show on my summer clothing haul it was this kind of anime shirt and yeah, I think, I think because of those certain drops, this is why his brand is where it is at now because he did it at the right time and he made quality, good looking pieces that were appealing to the eye and a lot of people throughout the summer. Now, um, I think I've talked to him about this or he's even known that he wanted to stop kind of doing graphic tees or just, you know, dabble in a lot of other products and i really think that's what this brand needs to you know even skyrocket even more because everyone's doing graphic tees everyone can do a graphic tee with a nascar tee but once you start making statement pieces that resemble your brand as a whole or just different pieces that no one else does then your brand obviously will take off so i definitely want to see that being more implemented within this brand just doing a lot more different pieces that you know resonate to his brand as well now the last brand that i do want to talk about is clothing abnormal this is a brand by another one of my boys um he is definitely doing this brand very very right and very very good and i can definitely see it taking off in 2022 because even in within the last week and a couple months or just when i'll be posting this video it's been doing good by itself um he is a tiktoker so he advertises his brand and markets his brand very very well on tiktok which is why a lot of people are gravitating more towards his brand and he has such a huge audience and impact on the people that are purchasing the items and i and i also said although he is doing a kind of another hoodie type of graphic tee or trucker hat type of brand a lot of his designs still remain very unique to his brand which is why i think he's getting so much traction and engagement with with the entire brand along with adding the marketing um advertising side from tiktok within the brand and just mixing it together to just make a really cohesive brand that is supported by organic people like people that actually support him are actually buying the brand so it's like 
you know, it, it's just gonna grow. It's gonna go grow even more. His last drop was a tapestry drop where he did a tapestry hoodie and then he did one with just a pullover, no hoodie. And a lot of the tapestry prints, I don't know if they were all the same. I doubt it because I that would be very hard to find the same type of rug and just kind of cut it and sew it the same way. But overall, the overall print of it and how the print looks is very, very nice. It is kind of like a pink, blue, kind of brownish, uh, angelic kind of like, uh, you know, you know when you're in church and you kind of see the glasses that have the murals on it That's kind of what the vibe of the sweater gives off with the actual brand name on the back And I think that is probably just dope it especially ending 2020 with it going into 2022 I think that is really dope and I think tapestries will be more of a trending thing within 2022 and yeah I just see this brand going up even more and yeah, but that is all for today's video I truly hope you guys enjoyed this video talking about shoeer brands or brands as a whole that I would definitely recommend you guys check out in 2022 let me know in the comments if i miss any brands or let me know in the comment what your favorite brand was and don't forget to like comment subscribe and turn that post notification bell because i am dropping a lot of consistent videos for the rest of 2022 so peace